Hi everyone, Alina from Exmate Master here, and today I'd like to create what's called a salt box roof. So if you don't know what that is, don't worry. I'm going to show you what it is and how to create it here in this short video for today's Tuesday Tech Tip. Let's take a look at how to create this style of roof right here. We call it a salt box roof, but basically the rafter length and the pitch in the front is different than the rafter length and pitch on the back side of the gable. So to create this, I'm gonna go ahead and delete what I had there. And I've got a footprint below that I can attach the, uh, the, the roof to. We're actually gonna ignore that for right now and just look at the roof level. And you can change which level you're looking at here in the bottom right corner. Uh, choose what you want to look at. So I'm not going to get distracted by the level below. I'm just going to look at the roof level for now. Okay, let's hit F on our keyboard. Got a gable roof loaded here. And I'm just going to put that on my sketch palette. I'm going to resize that roof to 35. And actually, we're going to wait for the um, width of the roof here because the rafter lengths are what's going to change. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and go to the properties. And we're going to go to where it says slope rise, and this might be hidden like this. So under dimensions, and this also might be hidden. If you close this, uh, these menus, then you can't find them. So if there's a plus sign, that means there's more to see. Then we're gonna go down to the slope rise, drop down the list, and you've got A and B same, yes. This actually is gonna be no. And then X1 likes to close my properties. I'm gonna open those again. There we go, now we can see it. So I'm gonna make um, the first slope here. I'm going to leave that at 4. The second slope B, we're going to change that to 12 just to get a real good angle on this and you'll see what will happen here. And you'll see that the lock is locked, meaning that it will lock the property, which is what I want for the 12 pitch, which is going to be on the front. So here we go. We're starting the process. There you can see I'm starting to get that look. However, I need the rafter length on the front to change, but not the back. The rear rafter length for slope A is actually 12 foot. So we'll, we'll expand that. Then we'll want to make sure that the locks are locked. So I'm actually going to lock this guy as well. That will inhibit the back slope from changing. As we extend the front 12-12 slope out here, I think it was 26. So notice that the back did not change. Here, I'll, I'll give you an overview of that. The back is locked. I can pull this one out independently of that rear slope, and that will give you that salt box look. It's just acting funky today, but you get the idea, and that's how you do it. So I would address the pitch first, and then lock it down. Um, I would at least lock the front slope, I mean the, um, the slope B. Um, slope A, I don't really have another problem with it not being locked like that, that's fine. And then you want to lock slope A's rafter length to make sure it doesn't move when you adjust the front here. So that is how you create the salt box style roof here in uh, Xactimate, and I'm using X1 today, but pretty much everything, if you just chop off this blue ribbon over here to the left, chop that off, everything else is pretty much the same here for if you're using 28. So hope you enjoyed that video. If you found this to be useful, please feel free to share it with someone else you know who is maybe dealing with this style roof out there. Also, if you like this topic, please press the like button below. Your likes and your shares and your comments are like gold here for me on YouTube, so I really appreciate any and everything that y'all do to support this channel. If you have a question on this, let me know in the comment section below after you've given it a try. See how this works for you. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. I train contractors how to use Xactimate. For more information on what I do, go to xmatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.